Hi guys, Alex here from Drayton's, here we've got a Volkswagen Passat, 2 litre TDI SE business, finished in manganese grey metallic paint. All the wheels and tyres are in good condition, these are 17 inch London alloy wheels. At the back you do get a nice large boot and the back seats will fall down if you need any extra space in there as well. This car has got MOT until the 11th of the 1st 2023 and was last serviced on the 18th of the 3rd 2022. Inside we have uh, these black cloth, seat, cloth seats, very very comfortable, um, decent bolsters on the side and the base to keep them in place. This car specifically is designed more for comfort and sort of longer journeys than it is uh, sort of a sporty driving feel. And it does deliver in the comfort department, the seats are very very nice uh, and supportive on your back as well. And if you're anything like me and you've got um, slight back issues then it does help having those supportive seats. Up front we have your rev counter on the left, speedo on the right and your digital screen in the centre. Currently showing the digital speedo but you've got various other things like your average speed, um, average consumption, stuff like that. You've also got various other tabs, so you've got your assist systems tab, um, so you've got adaptive cruise control and you also have speed limiter and front assist on there as well. Moving across, we have your nav, audio, whether that be radio or media your Bluetooth and your vehicle status and then back to your driving data. On the main screen we have a touchscreen system uh, so this is the main home screen. You've got DAB, FM, AM radio. You also have Bluetooth connectivity and USB and also CD. The CD player is located just in the glove box there. you also got uh, App Connect, so you can have Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, so you can have your own phone screen on the screen in the car. As I said, if you prefer to have your calls and your music coming through rather than having the whole phone on the screen, then you can do that just via Bluetooth as well. You also get a colour sat, color sat nav system. Uh, sat nav system is very easy to use, nicely up to date. Uh, you can change your points of interest and things like that to give you the view you want. You can have no points of interest at all, um, or just stuff like um, petrol stations or anything like that. Um, you can have day or night view as well and change the uh, perspective on it as well. You also get live traffic updates, um, so as you can see these have just come through. Uh, so it's starting off um, sort of in your area and uh, going at a wider berth. Uh, very useful if you're sort of nipping around uh, town and you want to know if there's any roads closed or anything like that. Uh, and also if you're planning on doing some longer journeys it does help to have those upfront uh, traffic uh, warnings. Also got your vehicle status, so you do have a performance monitor, but as I said, it's not set up for um, sportiness, it's more for comfort. You've got your convenience consumers, your driving data on there as well. And then you've got your main car settings on here, including your service. So this will show when your next service is due. Um, you will get a reminder close to the time, uh, whether that be for the time constraint or the distance. Um, but if you want to keep an eye on it, that is just on there as well. You also get park pilot, so you've got front and rear sensors with the selected display, um, nice and clear. Uh, it will come on automatically when you put the car into reverse, um, or you can turn it on just by pressing that button there on and off. Moving down, we have a dual zone climate control system, so you've got temperature for the driver and a temperature for the passenger, as well as heated front seats. In here we have a USB, you will need to connect to USB if you wanted to use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, um, as it is not uh, wireless on these um, models it's only on the newer ones we have a dsg gearbox so you have a standard drive mode and you've also got a sporty setup for the gearbox um, so in standard drive it's set up more for efficiency um, whereas in the sports mode it will let the car rev a bit higher give a bit more freedom uh, and optimize it for performance down here we have your engine start stop and your driving modes as well so your eco normal sport and individual individual you can change slightly to uh, suit what you want so as you can see the steering's in normal drives in sport 
so you've got a sharper throttle response from the sporty drive but you do have the nice light maneuverable steering uh, from the normal setting on there we have an electronic parking brake and auto hold for hill hold and you've also got 12 volt socket as well as a couple of cup holders um, there's a little spot here which I think is for the key I always use it for the key um, just to keep that there and you've also got USB and an aux in there as well decent um, space in the door pockets and the glove box the door pockets are lined with felt as well so if you've got stuff in there they don't rattle around too much uh, glove box is a good size as well up front we have a uh, sporty ish steering wheel so you've got a fairly flat bottom on the steering wheel nice leather um, not too big not too small so you get a nice grip on it uh, on the left hand side we've got the adaptive cruise control and your assist systems as well as the volume controls and on the right you have the controls for the screen in front as well as track or radio skip as well. You also get flappy paddles if you want in a manual style of driving, rain sensing wipers, automatic lights and heated and electrically adjustable wing mirrors with electric fold as well. Uh, the driver's seat does also have um, ergo comfort so you've got electric um, seat back control and you do also have lumbar support there as well again built for comfort rather than uh, speed or power in the back still got the cloth in the rear uh, the central seat is slightly different um, I think this is uh, called Kensington cloth um, but the central seat is just more of a standard cloth you also have a central armrest as well with a couple of cup holders in there a temperature gauge for the rear as well and you do also have uh, storage behind the seats the uh, door pockets uh, the central seat will also fold down for some through loading should you need that as well again door pockets in the rear lined with felt as to make stuff not rattle around as much very nice car very easy to drive and it will come with six months gold cover warranty which can be extended for Zissel as £199 for the next six months we also have a range of finance options available so if finance is something you're looking for then we can help you out with that as well if you need any more information on this car or any of the cars we have in stock please go to drayton's.co.uk thank you